takes a lot to get a level up in this game, once you get to a certain point. And apparently I've reached that point. Alright, let's go for this once again. And yeah, I still have no fire resist. Oh, wait, er, what do I got? Yeah, okay, poison resist. I thought I had lightning resist and I was going to just laugh at myself. But I don't. I have poison resist. And yes, poison's still prevalent around here. Uh, these, This will eventually narrow up here. So it's not going to be this wide the entire way. Uh, but I do want to keep... Uh, and it looks like it's actually going to start narrowing right now, which is nice. Okay, let's head over here. Make sure we don't miss anything, because there is a chance of some really good stuff dropping in this act. Uh, especially later on in this act, uh, there's some special dungeons that we'll be going to. Uh, with a, a, like a really high drop rate, from what I remember. We can go past this thing. I know it doesn't look like it can. Open up the burial chest. Then, ah, uh, here we go, starting to narrow, so we can start going a little bit faster, which is always appreciated, because I'm kind of in a rush here. But I refuse to ignore what I set out to do from the beginning, which is do a 100% walkthrough as much as I can, as much as I can of normal mode. And then once we get to the higher things, uh, then I can start doing this. Yeah, 14 to 63 on the pike. Very, I can't. very what do I have in here? Ah, fuck, I forgot to sell these. Uh, what do I got? 34. What energy cold resist plus 2 light radius. Ha! Why didn't I have you on before? That would have been greatly appreciated. Alright, what, what do we have? The heraldic, shi heraldic shield, even. It's probably not going to be that great. No. Okay. Let's put the pike back on. That's going to be an awesome pike. And here are the most annoying enemies in the game. These are, I don't know, gremlins. These are the standard, I'm going to cast firebolts at you and then teleport away enemies. There always seems to be one of these and then every freaking RPG. Oh, demon hide sash. Oh, good lord. That could be awesome. Let's get that. Let's teleport back to town, actually. No super heals. Okay. That could be ridiculously good. Th where's Deckard Kane? Why aren't you standing next to the stash? Yes. Give me s you know, let me identify my items. Okay. This is the first upgraded of a sash, the first nightmare level belt that we've come across. So right now I've got six defense with a replenished life of five. This is a defense of 40, lightning resist plus 10, poison resist plus 7. Yeah. It's going on. Oh, and guess what? Because it's a nightmare level difficulty, this is something that I think is very smart of them to do. They have actually left in all... Oh, they left in all the slots. How awesome is that? There's no point in you not getting the upgrades. Oh, that's such a good... That's such a good thing, and that's something that most people would overlook. Most companies would overlook something like that and say, oh, if you want to get the sash back, you're going to need to to sacrifice all the slots. Not this game. They're like, no, you can have it. Okay. Uh, for the melee pike that I got, because I have a guy that uses that, we're going to put an am on there. 7% life stolen per hit. That's great for him. That's awesome. Let's put the tier on, which is uh, 2 to mana after each kill. That's not so great for him. That's not so awesome. He doesn't use mana. But when you combine them, they become the strength pike. And this gives him 35% uh, enhanced damage, 25% chance of a crushing blow, 20 to strength, 10 to vitality. <sighs> That's good. That's damn good. 59 to 189. 72 to one for to 246. Yeah. I didn't even need to really check that. I knew it was going to be good. Mm. All right. I need to sell you some things. You can have that. You can have that. And that. Prepare my things. Let me open this up. Uh, what are you on? What are you on? 60. 34. No, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave them on that thing. That thing's pretty damn good. These still aren't worth it, even though it says that it's over 
well, almost four times as worth as much as uh, what I have. It's it's not worth it for me. I like what I got better. All right, let's go back into the stash. Now the game's been freezing out on me right about right when I try to go to Mala this way. Hopefully it doesn't do it to me today. It Indeed. doesn't. Sweet. I don't know what the problem was before, uh, but hopefully that doesn't come up again. Holy fire! Nothing. Okay. Damn. Demon hide sash, man. Demon hide sash. There's nothing in here, right? Let me just double check because I apparently I forgot it last time. Pick up that great axe and we can move on. And get nothing. Oh, man. That was really lucky with that demon hide sash. You usually don't see that until much later in the act. You don't see that kind of stuff. But I'm happy to get it. And I do have most of the beginning... Uh, most of the beginning nightmare level stuff memorized. Of course, there's upgrades for every single piece of equipment. Um, I don't know most of the hell names. I don't, I, honestly, I can't think of any of the hell names off the top of my head. But nightmare stuff, I usually have down. Um, I might need to check one occasionally because a few of them are just plain weird. Uh, but I do know most of the names, and that's how you start to get... Really? You did that sound when I open up the skulls and rocks? <laughs> Whatever. So finally getting some upgrades that are good. What is on this gothic shield? Two-socketed gothic shield. I don't have the things that I need for the for the shields right now. I don't. And it's not that great of a shield anyway. Um, damn it! Stop throwing things at me! Come on, barbarian! See, this is why I don't pick you as a mercenary. You can barely handle these things by yourself. Alizir can handle these things no problem. Of course, I gave him some really good equipment, but still, that's besides the point. So if you guys, yeah, I believe these guys can actually equip all barbarian equipment. Uh, so if you've had some really good barbarian equipment, I guess you could give it to them. But once again, I don't recommend these guys. I recommend the Aura guys from Act 2. Which is kind of sad because we're in Act Five now, and this in Act Two is still the best thing that we've come across. Damn! Did he just one shot a catapult? Damn, Al Hazir! I like your new weapon. Give me that flawed ruby. We still haven't come across any uh, anything to give us a full perfect uh, gem besides the skull. Of course, the skull like hardly counts as a gem. I mean, it does in terms of what it how it functions and all that kind of stuff but you know in terms of god this really starts expanding out in terms of how it looks it's it, you know it's not a gem it's a skull ah <laughs> oh, go blessed hammer skull and rocks you, you guys want to hear what I, what I heard the first time you probably didn't hear me with me hear it with me talking over it ready what kind of sound is that ah whatever we need to start going back this way Super heal, spirit mask. How's the spirit mask? Crap. Super heal can go here. Hopefully, I can start filling that bar up again. Or this whole, this whole, all the bars. <laughs> flawless ruby. Yes, you can start picking up flawless randomly around here. It's awesome. You gotta love Act Five. You start doing things that you never thought was gonna happen. You start getting things that you never thought you'd get. It's it's really an upgrade from uh, from even hell. You start getting a whole lot of better stuff here in Act Five. It really does pick up, and I, I don't. Know, I mean, I guess I get it because they're trying to reward people for buying the expansion. Uh, but that's really for like when it came out. Now that you're looking back at it, what am I not going to get the expansion for Diablo Two now? You know what? Ten, twelve years later. I don't think they actually expected anybody to be playing it this late. Then again, they just reset the ladders, so I mean, I don't know. Or they are going to reset the ladders. I forget. I just saw the news story, and I'm like, oh, they are still, you know, working with Diablo 2. <laughs> They're not releasing patches or anything like that anymore. I assume that they are completely done with that. Uh, but they are uh, starting to. Well, yeah, they they still work on this from time to time, which is impressive. I, I doubt when they released it, they expected that to happen. All right, up to the next level. I'm trying to go through this quickly, but uh, this place is huge. You know, spoilers. <laughs> this whole act is huge. Everything's bigger in Haragith. It's almost like Texas, except 
you know, cold. Here, Texas can get cold, but whenever I think of Texas, I'm not thinking, oh, I wonder how much snow they're getting right now. <laughs> I'm thinking, I bet it's like a hundred and something right now. Alright, come on. Let's take on these guys. Apparently I missed that guy down there. And I refuse to let him get cheap shots on me. Damn it! Oh, his ear, why do you keep on attracting people and making them follow you? There's nothing over here. Damn it, see, I hate these guys. I fucking hate those guys. And the enslaved, we will start to see uh, a, another mob that spawns with them. Uh, have we seen a poignard before? Uh, it's a dagger type thing. Yeah, it's not that great. Uh, the, the death mullers don't hurt that much, so I'm not too concerned about it. It's just annoying, you know what I mean? No, but not as annoying as the firebolt and then teleport away, guys. Those guys are complete dicks. I hate them, and we'll be seeing a ton of them. Uh, so once again, fire resistance, because they do cast fire. It doesn't matter what color they are. They will be changing color, but that's upgrades. That's not what ca what, what spell they cast. That's, that's an upgrade for them. Uh, kill them all! Yeah, super heal. And unfortunately, Al Hazir cannot stab these guys from across the little ravine here. They programmed that in. The, the worst time to program that, uh, which is why a lot of people do say that the, uh, once again, the Act 3 mercenaries are best because they are ranged and they uh, can also freeze. But, once again, I, I know I've talked about it way too much, but I am a fan of the. Or guys, and from what I understand, that is the general consensus. The general consensus, consensus from what I see online. And apparently, uh, some of my let's play has been uh, has been posted on, on some fan sites. I thank you guys. I just wish uh, I knew where on your side it was. So if you guys uh, have been ha were introduced to this through through a fan site, uh, I would love to if you guys could give me the the link to the forum or the thread or whatever so that I could see, you know, whatever comments were being said. I always love to read comments and if you post it on a if you post it on a forum and I don't have access to the forum, I don't even know that it's been posted there, then I, I, I can't see the comments. I, I've had that happen with a, a few games of mine. There have been, you know, the, the YouTube videos I do allow them to be embedded elsewhere because, you know, I want more people to see it, but at the same time, if you post it somewhere else, I, I would like to know. I'm not going to take it down. I just want to, you know, see what people are saying about it uh, when they don't think that I see when it, especially when they don't think that I see it, you know. Wh what are they saying uh, wi without the... Without the pressure, I guess, of knowing that I'm going to be seeing it. Switch over to my other one. Ugh. I switched over because I didn't have enough mana, and I still had it set on Blessed Hammer. Let's go up here. You can help out now. Mummified Trophy. Uh, these are upgrades, I believe, as well. This is actually a really good... Uh, man. Feel bad for for necromancers that aren't using this because uh, those are those are the setup to a really good rune word. Did I drop it? I didn't mean to drop it. I am going to sell that. that those are the setup to a really good rune word using the two socketed. Um, I don't know heads. I don't know what, what would you call it when they're all grouped together. You know, demon heads, unraveler heads, all that kind of stuff. That one was really good, too. But, uh, firstly, single player. <laughs> so, it doesn't matter how good it is for somebody else. Ooh, bone wand, you wand. I'm just picking up Necromancer stuff all day today. Getting lucky with that stuff, even though I can't really use it. Is it good? Yes, it is. Damn it, El Hazir, finish those guys off. I'm going down here. I've got work to do down here. Oh! And uh, we've gotten our first quest, which is actually to kill a guy up here. Um, his name is... what is his name? Shank the Overseer. We have to kill him. Uh, he's going to be the first Overseer we see. Uh, they do have other Overseers usually with them. Uh, he whips things into uh, Berserker mode. 
Uh, and then they become little banelings. He's not particularly tough to kill. The problem with him is the banelings that he makes. What do you do? Ooh. Yellow pylon. Uh, none of this hurts you, by the way. Feel free to stand in it. This guy does, though. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. I was still killing things. Alright, um... This can go in there. I can dump some of these. And then that should be enough to pick up the, uh, the scythe. There we go. Talk to Larzik for your reward. I will in just a second, because knowing that we have killed Shank the Overseer means we are actually pretty close to, uh, to the end of the Bloody Foothills. So, let's, uh, finish filling up my inventory, and then we can, you know, head back on our own time, instead of when the game tells us to. Yeah, the catapults are quite beefy around here. Still in search of better gloves. Still can't believe I haven't replaced those. Because most, like I said, most green things suck. Most green things suck, and I've had these since Act 1, and I haven't found anything better than them yet. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Go kill things, my pretties. Okay. Like I said, we should be getting very close uh, to... Actually, this is the top here. This is the top, and that's the way forward. Uh, I will fully explore that in just a second. Let me just go over here, make sure I didn't miss any treasure chests. See, I would have missed out on 54 gold. That's totally worth it. Uh, but it's worth it for the peace of mind, I swear. Now we can kill these things, swing around again, kill that guy. Nice. Blessed Hammer is working for me today against these things. Alright, so we are done here in the bloody foothills. And we are ready to move forward. Into, where are we going? We have to go up these stairs. Why there are stairs in the foothills like this, I will never know. But we have made it to the frigid highlands. The waypoint's always at the front. And we have to find the soldiers here in the frigid highlands. Let's go her to back to Haragath, though. And, God, why is Deckard Kane hanging out over here? Identify Stay my items. I've never seen him hang out over there. Let's go back to Larzak, who will give us a reward. Good afternoon. You're an even greater warrior than I expected. Sorry for underestimating you. As a token of my appreciation, I will craft sockets into an item of your choosing. And from now on, you'll get the best price for all my wares. So yes, our reward is that he will actually uh, add sockets to an item, uh, which is very, very useful if I can find something that I want to socket. Um, just off the top of my head, no, I don't have anything that I'm ready to socket yet. I don't have th the the runes for anything. Uh, but we can trade and repair. That's always a possibility. Uh, so I will try to find something. Hopefully that you know something that drops that nightmare level um, that I can uh, then socket and hopefully put something on. Lightning resist plus six. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Uh, now, keep the poison resist for now. 14% better chance. I'm gonna... I'm gonna put that on. Wait. What's my chance to hit now? No, 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 no. We're, that's way too low. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Yeah, I'll sacrifice a little bit because I, I want to hit things. That's always appreciated when I'm able to hit things. Alright, let's take out this uh, mechanics great axe, which isn't going to be that good. And this does prevent monster heal, which is decent for preventing monster heal, but it's rare that you'll find anything that does heal. Uh, but it's not that great overall, not nearly as good as what I crafted for him. So that is gone. And the great axes suck! Why do the great axes suck so much? Uh, so yes, Larzuk will add sockets to the item of my choosing, which is always appreciated. Let's go to Mala. Double check that she doesn't have anything that I want, which is just this one thing, and it was crap anyway. So let's go back to the stash. And I think... Uh, I, I don't think I have enough for... No, I don't have enough for the, the rubies yet. 
Then of course I don't have enough for any of this. This can go there. This can go there. That's not really organized at all, but I'll know when I get three of something. And all my money can go in there. And now I have finally reached one million gold. And now that I have become a millionaire, that is actually going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Diablo 2. I have been Muller Scoob. I've been joined, as always, by my paladin and Al Hazir. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.